What's up guys, it's Hype here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get a soundboard on a tablet or your phone and play it through your microphone so that stream, yourself, and your friends can all hear it. Before we get started, I want to announce that I have partnered with Poggers, the drink company, and if you use code HYPE, you will get 10% off your order on all orders. Go get something now. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any issues and I will try my best to figure them out. Let's get to it. All right, so to start, you're gonna wanna search Touch Portal in Google. It's this first one right here, www.touch.portal.com. Click on that. Go to Downloads, Touch Portal and download whatever one goes with your device for mine it's this one and yes i have to re-download this because i moved files around and messed everything up all right then you're gonna want to start it up I accept agreement next next yes next Next, install. Next. Now just give it a couple minutes to download. All right, you're gonna have to restart your computer, I guess. So uh, let me do that real quick. Okay. Now that my PC is restarted, uh, look for Touch Portal on your desktop. Mine, I moved it up here. Go ahead and open that up. As you can see, this is everything that I have connected from when I've used it before. But you can connect, go into settings. You can connect OBS so that it does your scenes, you can change between your scenes. Connect it to Twitch so it does the same thing as well as run ads and there's some other things you can do also. The easiest part is just adding in these sound effects. As long as you have the audio file, that's probably why none of my stuff's working. It's just all the wrong file. But once you have the audio file, you literally just... See if I remember how to do this. Oh yeah, you go to here... These are all the things you can do. I go to audio, play audio. I always have a stop button so that I can stop the audio if I have to. But yeah, play audio. Press the three lines. Um, there it is. Hit apply, save and close. Next, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go over to your tablet or phone, Android or iOS, does not matter. Go to the App Store or Google Play Store and search Touch Portal. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to open it. As you can see, mine is supposedly already connected, although... I don't think it really is, but go to settings, setup wizard, just go through all these prompts, don't skip through them like I did, actually go through them, make sure everything's right, set up correctly, but it should find your computer, and as you can see, mine's not working right now. Practical news oh. is coming! Okay, so yeah, I figured out what was wrong. If you press these, it's supposed to change my OBS scene, but it's, uh, I transferred a bunch of files over about a week ago and it, it kind of messed some things up, so. If you try it, it should work perfectly fine. It has always worked for me. Before you really get into making sure audio works and everything, you're going to want to go to voicemeter.com. 
scroll down to where it says banana and download that for your computer I already have it downloaded and running right now this is what it looks like for your hardware input one you're gonna wanna select your microphone WDM select your mic select B1 for that and then you're gonna wanna go over to virtual inputs this is what gets the soundboard playing through your audio don't know how it exactly works but it it works so you're gonna want to click a1 and b1 for that make sure that a1 is selected as your headset so whatever that may be you want a1 and b1 for the first one I adjust the decibel for my liking for stream you guys can do that however you please Make sure that's also on A1 there. Now if we go and test it, you can see Bruh. Bruh. it is not playing through my mic. So, what I might have to do, what you guys might have to do is open up your audio settings. Go over to here. Make sure that this is on aux input. Make sure this is voice meter output voice meter aux input you're also gonna have to change that for your uh, stream desktop audio and mic should be selected as these things but you might Bruh. have to change this around like that Bruh. Bruh. As you can see, now it's playing through my mic. And I can hear it in my um, headset. And it's not echoing. Bruh. It's only playing through my mic on stream, not my desktop audio. Bruh. It's working on my Discord. I know, because it's lighting up around my thing. My logo. And... Yeah, so that's pretty much how you do it. Sometimes I'll change this back. Bruh. Just to see if it works. But. Bruh. It doesn't, so you just leave it there. That's how you know it's working. And. Just like that, you got yourself a soundboard on a tablet or a phone. And it's working great through your mic for stream, playing with your friends, whatever you want to use it for. I hope you guys enjoyed. I made this video because a lot of you were still watching my TikTok I made a couple years ago on this. But I wanted to go a little more in depth. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope you were able to figure out problems that you had, whatever. If not, put them in the comments and I'll try to help you out. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.